of his back With some uncomfortable truths This goes out To all those Who've been mercilessly failed by the system How many of those rap tunes have you heard over the years that complain, bitch and moan about how tough life is? It's usually a black guy from some rough part of town saying how an unfair system is getting him down. He'll go on about violence and dark bloody nights and losing his best friends in drive-bys and gunfights. He'll make you feel bad about how good your life is and give the impression it's because of your whiteness. But look around today and you'll see that on average it's not the white people who are behaving like savages. It's clear nowadays whites are under attack by foreign invaders hunting and loading in packs but still we're the ones who were made to feel guilty ever since Stephen Lawrence was all over the TV he's become a sort of saint worshipped and adored while his mum gets a seat in the British House of Lords and while the official story for some is still in doubt Britain's native people are being chewed up and spat out by their own establishment who now seem to hate them and are doing all they can to secure their replacement to secure their replacement they replace me. The government has so much to answer for and now we're finding out what's been happening from the south to the north. Tens of thousands of white girls have been betrayed by a system that allows them to be tortured and raped by gangs of foreign men that shouldn't even be there and when the news comes back to them they don't seem to care. These girls have had to go through unimaginable pain and they'll never look at men in the same way again. These gangs are pure scum and they know they're succeeding. They're doing all they can to stop white girls from breeding, damaging them for life and scarring them forever, these girls have had their souls destroyed and confidence severed. Brother and Rochdale, Telford, Oldham are only four of the towns where this has happened and there are so many more. Where is the outrage over these hideous crimes as these girls scream in terror for the hundredth time? Silent screams, girls in their teens who've had their lives destroyed by Pakistanis. Silent screams, shattered dreams, whole communities ripped apart at the seams. Most of these girls survive and live for another day But so many people's lives have ended in brutal ways And it's all because of mass immigration Which we're supposed to believe is improving our nation Nicola Dixon, head smashed in in an alley Where's Lee Otter, knife to death when he drew out some money Kirsty Triller killed by her ex and called a white bitch Kate Beagley stabbed to death after refusing a kiss Reese Price ambushed and killed just yards from his home Ben Kinsella coldly murdered just 60 years old Nicholas Pearson, 62, hunted down after threat Peter Woodham's face slashed and then shot on his doorstep And then the tragic story of Emily Jones Had her throat slit while riding a bike in a park near her home Maybe this gives you an idea of what's really going on but we're only scratching the surface the list goes on and 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 on all those lives lost all those innocent faces now you see how blown up the Stephen Lawrence case is these are some of the biggest injustices the world has ever seen our establishment has failed them and ignored their desperate screams silent screams silent screams countless stories hidden from our screens silent screams shattered dreams Families ripped apart at the seams Silent screams, silent screams Multiculturalism has brought us to our knees Silent screams, silent screams A once proud nation ripped apart at the seams So when are you gonna get into your tiny little heads That immigration has left so many dead If you still can't see that there's something wrong What the fuck is wrong with you? What planet are you on? If your heart's not bleeding now then you simply haven't got one And if you call me racist then you're part of the problem What will it take for you to admit Defeat. Will you wait for cities to burn and mass beheadings in our streets? I don't give a shit if England win thanks to blacks in the team I'd rather they lost every game and our country was free Free from the cancer that's destroying our land And free from violent rapists and criminal gangs All this misery, suffering and fear could be stopped overnight if these people weren't here We have to face the facts as now we all know That for our country to be safe all these people have to go Silent screams, silent screams Countless stories hidden from our screens Silent screams, shattered dreams Families ripped apart at the seams Silent screams, silent screams Multiculturalism has brought us to our knees Silent screams, silent screams A once proud nation ripped apart at the seams screams.
Where are their candles, their vigils, their protests, their riots? Oh, they don't count, do they? No, because they were white. Well, with every problem, there's a solution. And there's only one solution now. There's only one solution. And we know what that is.